Real quick before this video starts, you guys, go vote for Jazz. Don't forget, I'll be launching a vape giveaway if she makes it through the first round of public voting. And guess what? She's not in the running as of right now when I'm making this little update. So use the link below and go click it and vote for her. Today, I'm combining two videos into one. Hey, vapers. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is all about my monthly sample box. <laughs> Alright guys, yes, today I'm taking a look at my April sample box. I just got it in the mail today. And like I said at the end of March when I did my taste testing for March's box, I'm going to combine my unboxing video and my taste test video into one big video. So this video might be a little bit longer than normal videos, but it's that way so you guys don't have to wait a few more weeks to find out what these e-liquids taste like. You can find out all about them and what they taste like all in one video. All right, here is my example box. I do have the platinum box. It's the largest box. There's 11 bottles in here. There's also a gold box, which is a little bit smaller, and then a silver box, which is even smaller. And they're all at different prices, so there is a box for every budget of vapor out there. Here it is. I got my flavor menu, the, what is this? Best of box card and a couple of stickers. Also on Sample Box's website, they now sell other things like uh, vape equipment and stuff. So you can go to their website and check out their prices and reviews and such and get your hardware from there too. All right, here is my first layer of e-liquid. So I'm just gonna go through really quickly and show you guys each of the bottles and all about them. First up, I have Fat Clouds Nimbus. This is a creamy coconut custard. It's $14 for a 15 ml bottle at 80% PG made in Tacoma, Washington. Next I have Tribe by Traditional Juice Co. This is deep fried ice cream topped with powdered sugar. It's $12 for a 15 ml and it's 60% BG made in Santa Ana, California. Next I have Clemenza by Genco. This is fried banana and salted caramel. It's $12 for a 15 ml. It's 70% VG made in Buena Park, California. Okay, can we just hang on a second? These first three flavors are killing it. Creamy coconut custard, deep fried ice cream with powdered sugar, and fried banana salted caramel. Like what? These are all so sounding good to me. Next I have lychee by boba. This is a lychee boba tea flavor. It's $11 for 15 ml, 70% VG made in Los Angeles, California. Next up I have Milk and Honey by Cosmic Fog. This is sweet honey, creamy milk, and fluffy marshmallows. It's $15 for a 15 ml, 70% VG, made in Costa Mesa, California. And I have had that flavor before because I did a Cosmic Fog video for all the flavors of Cosmic Fog. And next I have another Cosmic Fog. This is Euphoria. And this is a Fruit Loop cereal with a delicious twist. $12 for a 15 ml, 70% VG, made in Costa Mesa, California. So the way this video is going to work is I'm going to show you guys all the flavors. That was my entire first layer. I'm going to try my favorites from that layer and then tell you guys about my second layer and try some favorites from that layer. So for the first layer, I definitely wanna try Tribe and I definitely want to try Clemenza and Nimbus by Fat Clouds. So I'm trying these flavors out today on my Troll RDA as I always do, but if you don't have an RDA or don't know how to use one and you still want a flavor test without committing to an entire tank full of e-liquid, you can always invest in these 510 dripping atomizer barrels. They're super cheap and easy to use. You put a couple drops of the e-liquid down in there, put a drip tip on top, and then you get a couple puffs of the flavor. I used to use these all the time and I will leave a link below to them in my description if you're interested in checking them out. Now the first flavor I wanted to try, which called my name the most, is Tribe by Traditional Juice. This is supposed to be deep fried ice cream with powdered sugar on top. Hmm. I smell the powdered sugar and it smells mostly like a plain donut-y scent to me. Hmm. It's not a bad flavor, but I'm getting it. It, it really tastes like a powdered donut. There might be a, like a cream vibe in there, but if I was to taste this flavor without knowing it was deep fried ice cream, I don't think I'd pick up on the ice cream, me personally. But they did ace the powdered sugar part, which makes it a yummy vape in my book because it kind of just tastes like a powdered donut. Next, I am trying Nimbus by Fat Clouds, and this is a creamy coconut custard. Hmm. It smells like coconut, but it also smells like almost like 
a drink, like a soda or something. I definitely am getting the custard vibe from it on the exhale with a very light coconut flavor. They do a good job with the custard part of the vape, but I would have wanted a lot more coconut and maybe I just need to vape it a little bit more, but the coconut isn't like, bam, this is creamy coconut custard. Ooh, clouds, bitch. I mean, it's a good flavor. I guess I personally would have wanted like lots more coconut because I love coconut. It's one of my favorite flavors to vape. But as far as like a light coconut yummy custard flavor, that's what it tastes like to me. Next, I am trying Clemenza. I'm probably not saying that right, actually. Mmm, I can smell the salted caramel, but hardly any banana on that scent. Hmm. I can definitely taste the salted caramel a lot more than the banana. Hmm. It's a really good salted caramel flavor, and I'm also kind of getting like a almost like a donut flavor as well with that deep fried aspect, but the banana is very, very light and almost like only on the after, like the aftertaste. Like I don't even taste it really inhaling or exhaling, but like afterwards I can taste some banana. Just trying to detect some banana in there because that seems to be like part of the main flavor. It's a deep fried banana. It's a very light banana flavor, but not bad nonetheless. So out of these three flavors that I just tried, to me, they taste somewhat like they're supposed to, but parts of the flavors are kind of a little bit more muted than I would personally prefer, but they're still good flavors. And I think that my favorite would be Tribe out of these three that I just tried by Traditional Juice. But we have a whole nother layer to go through for my sample box. Let's get going. Next I have Dronuts by Cyber E-Liquids. Now on the bottom it says Cyber Liquids. And on here, they must they have a typo. It says Fuel Cell, Free California. I don't think that's where it's from. This bottle is $12 for a 15 mil and it's 60% VG. It's a maple glazed buttercream donut. Oh my God, that sounds so freaking good. You guys know I am trying this one. Next we have Big Heart Flavors and this one is Blue Palmberry. It's a blueberry and pomegranate. It's $10 for a 17 mil bottle, 80% VG made in Chicago, Illinois. Next we have Royal Heights Blue Balls. This is blueberries folded into sweet cream. It's $12 for a 15 mil, 60% VG, made in Charleston, South Carolina. Next we have Busboy, which is a passion fruit orange guava. It's $11 for a 15 mil, 60% VG, from Vape Street Social, made in Long Beach, California. And last in my sample box, we have EST Vapes, estimated standard time vapes, Lemon Lips. This is lemon with hints of raspberry and strawberry. It's $12 for a 15 mil, 60% VG, made in Buena Park, California. All right guys, so that is all of my sample box. Now I'm going to try the flavors from the second layer that caught my interest right away. And you better believe I am so excited for this. Dronuts maple glazed donut like if this doesn't kill it I'm gonna be so mad because this is like I'm like in that mood. I'm like give me a donut I just tried some yummy sweet flavors. I'm on a kick right now Mmm Mmm This is definitely the best flavor out of the box <laughs> It's a really nice, light, fluffy donut flavor with some maple glaze on it, and you can really taste the buttercream. I feel like I can taste the buttercream almost more than the maple glaze, but it is so freaking good. There's like a hair stuck in my... And I am putting this in my cup D. Mmm. One more, and then we'll move on. Mmm. So good. And I'm also going to try this lemon lips flavor it's lemon raspberry and strawberry and i know like i literally just tried dessert flavors but the, i have to mix in one because my box is pretty much fruity and dessert that's like my favorites wow so the lemon and raspberry come through the most strawberry might be on like the aftertaste exhale but Definitely lemon and raspberry are hitting your tongue. Nice and sweet and sugary. 
actually the perfect vape for summertime, which is coming up. All right, guys, so that is all I have for you today. We did an unboxing and some flavor testing. So that box is $50 a month, and the box value is $133. I love how they put the box value. If you were to buy each of those bottles individually, that's an amazing deal. I will leave a link below to Zample Box where you can check them out for yourself if you're interested. Let me know what you got in your Zample Box or if you're still waiting or if you've tried any of those flavors that I got in my Zample Box. Let me know down in the comments below. But that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up for Zample Box. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for more videos. And don't forget to turn on that bell notification symbol so you don't miss any videos I do upload daily. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Snapchat. Those social media links will be below as well. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join Casa.org and fight for your right to vape. Call and urge your state representative to support HR 1136. So with that all being said, as always, I'm Tia and thank you so much for watching.